still checking in the place still cold moving in the way no place no snow now this is me round 10 update video and trades going into week 11 uh, normally I would do a video at the start of the week just doing my recap and how I went and trade thoughts um, and then like get see people's comments and see what their suggestions are but um, I was home seeing family and stuff for a few days so this video is a bit late so I'm just going to do them both and do me uh, do me recap and me trades I'll tell you I'll do me trades later who I'm trading out while I'm doing it um, but yeah, right now we'll just go over um, the week. So I got 2,089 uh, for the round. Not, yeah, you know, I'm pretty happy to get in the 2,000s because most of the weeks I'm fucking well below it. So wasn't too unhappy with it. Um, what lost both me, hang on, let me just check. I'm pretty sure, I, yeah, yeah, I lost both me leagues. Uh, but there were some big scores this week. Like a mate of mine got 2,400 and he said like it wasn't even a good score for a league that he's in. He said heaps of the dudes in that league were getting 2,500. So big round for some people. The primos were hitting right. So yeah, big, big round, big, uh, yeah, big round for people. I'm just looking at, sorry, I just fucking faded away there. I just looked at Tom McDonald. He's got the red and white stripy dot next to his name and i'm looking at the guys that also have that red and white stripy dot and i'm now thinking that tom mcdonald is injured and that'll fuck up my trade so let me just check that before i go any further fuck well it looks like he's still battling the foot injury um um he's a test uh the foot injury held him out at the start of the year uh it seems like it could be ongoing um we'll talk about that later we'll go over the side so from back line yo 100 laird 98 sicily 85 mcdonald 80 zach tui 89 and ridley 49 um yeah not too bad pretty pretty low um I was hoping McDonald to get around 100, Laird to be you know, 110, Sicily 100 for sure. So that would have helped, but didn't go that way. Zach Tui 89. Um, you know, like I said, I think he's capable of getting 90 each week. So I'm going to... I'm going to... He was actually on the trade block, but now I'm thinking about McDonald. Maybe he might go, which is ridiculous because I got him in last week. But I'm worried about this foot. But anyway, we'll get to that. Midfielders, McRae, Danger... So McRae had 102, Danger 133, Mitchell 116, Cornelia 138, Martin 105, Merritt 89, Kelly 57, Phillips 57. So McRae, um, I'd originally named him captain. I didn't know about this vice captain loophole thing. This is my first year doing super coach properly. The last couple of years I've done it like three rounds in and just like gave it away. So I'd seen all these comments about loopholing him and I was like, what in the fuck is a loophole, ca uh, captain's loophole? So I texted a... Uh, Message me, boy, Landers. He's right up with it, and he explained it to me real good. Um, so I had him vice captain and then Gorn captain. Obviously, if McRae had a, a ripper, I was going to uh, put Gorn on the pine as emergency and Alango on the ground as captain and do the loophole that way. Uh, McRae, he had like, I think he had a 30-something possession game. There must have been shit possessions because for 102, for that many possessions is a bit below par but you know he'd been cracking along for weeks probably bound to have a shit one uh danger would have been the man to captain but what are you gonna do and it, uh yeah so but my midfielders had they were good happy with that mckinnelio 138 oh he would have been the man to captain actually but yeah dusty 105 mitchell 116 merit 90 89 you know not too bad kelly 57 a bit better than last week um I'm still not ready to pull the trigger on him. Call me bias. I'll cop that. I'm still not ready to pull the trigger on him. I will after next week. The week. So then the buys after that. I'll Yeah, I'm going to wait and pull it on him. Ed Phillips, 57. And then the Rucks gone, 114. And Nat Nui, 107. I'm so glad Nat Nui, I picked him at the start. He has been getting hundreds consistently. Uh, down the forward line, McLean, 102. Had a great game Friday night. Heaney, 128. 
gun. Glad I got him to start. Rewalt three. He uh he got knocked out. Um knocked out early in the game. Not sure what his let me just check that actually. I didn't even fucking think about these injuries before I started recording this and I had a plan to trade people. Let me just check that. Yeah, right. So Rewalt's a test, but considered a good chance to play. He's playing. Um, I'm not going to worry about trading him out. He's been in good form. So, but yeah, obviously, guy getting injured doesn't help you. But what are you going to do? Bailey Fritz, 87. He's he's a great rookie. He's earning good kanga. Charlie Spargo, 61. The D's are up and about, and they are just cruising. So. Cruising along with them. Giles Langdon, 45. Amy Bench, well, or Banfield, 64, but the rest aren't playing. Um, but yeah, so 2089. Hopefully get something better this week. Projected is 2175. Wouldn't mind getting 22 or above. Um, but yeah, uh, that'd be that'd be the go. Uh, coming into buys, this is going to fucking sound stupid, and I'm going to cop a heap of guff, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to cater for him. I'm not going to try and trade guys and be like, oh, I've got to get through the buys. I'm just going to cop shit scores for the buys. Um, I know it's a dumb way to do it, but I'm running low on trades because I've had to trade hard to get um, to get a side that's getting decent scores. So my plan is t- I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trade for cash at the moment. So I'm going to trade out some... Some guys getting some cash, um, so that come up come the season after the buy. That's when I want to have some good primos, and start racking in some scores. So some big guys that I want to get in. I want to get in five. Um, uh, who else was I thinking? I, I want to get Buddy back. I think Buddy's going to have a cracker of a last season, uh, last half, and um, I think. Jake Lloyd as well. If I get him in the back line, um, yeah, I think we'll be cruising. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna trade for cash. So this, so these are my, these were the trades I was thinking I'm gonna do. I was gonna do Zach Tui out for Bailey Rice, get a good, good bunch of change for him, and then I was gonna get Giles Langdon out for Timothy Smith, get a good bit of change for him, have a bit of money in the bank, um, and then next week I was trading out Kelly. For another, I'll get another rookie in, and then you know I'd be up around six, seven hundred grand, and then probably trade someone else out as well for that for some cash. That'll leave me with eleven trades left. You know, I'll be looking up, looking around seven, eight hundred thousand bucks, um, and I can get a couple of good primos in, and then ride the rest of me rookie change out and just start buffing up come the end of the season. So that that is my plan. I'm gonna go with it, but I think instead of trading Zach Tui for Bailey Rice, I'm gonna go Tom McDonald. I know it's fucking dumb because I got him in last week, but I don't think I think his foot might give him guff. I could be wrong. He could turn up this week and get a gazillion points, and Zach Tui might have a shocker and get like thirty, and I'll cop guff. But I'm I'm probably I'm expecting to weather some shit scores over the next couple of weeks. Just barring buys and trying to get some change in to get some big primos in for the second half of the season. But that's what I'm going to go with. So I'm going to do... And the other reason I want to get Tom McDonald out is because I'm getting Timothy, Timothy Smith in. I don't want too many Melbourne players. If I get Smith in and leave McDonald, I'm, I'm running five Ds players. Obviously, that's going to fucking bend me over the table and ram a big old butt plug up my ass. I'll come there by day. So uh, I'd rather four miss out than five if you know as dumb as that is in the first place because i've got so many players but yeah all right first first trade tom mcdonald uh you're gone for bailey motherfucking rice we'll go sort by lowest price because i'm a mad dog um what's his name bailey rice where you at where you at where you at i think he's 123 large He's a Saints player, so I'll look for that logo. B 
But yeah, so that's that's what I'm going for. There he is, Bally Rice. Nope. Bailey Rice. Make sure I've got that right. Tim McDonald for Bailey Rice. Complete trade. Confirm. Bailey Rice in there having a good time. Wait for this thing to load. But yeah, so I'm just trying to build up money over the next couple of weeks so that come after the bye weeks, I'll have a heap of change um, and start getting in some primos, some premiums, you know. So Giles Langdon's out. Been wanting to pull the trigger on this guy for a while. And I'm getting in Timothy Smith. Um, and, you know, Melbourne are cruising. They're rookies. They're getting good looks. They're getting good... good uh, Game time. They've got the the um, senior players around them to help them be good as well. They're, the D's are playing with confidence. They're up and about. So, got got a lot of faith in these Melbourne rookies. Giles Langdon out for him. Complete that trade. Confirm. And we're laughing. Right. So... That's the side. Bring the camera back. This is the side I'm going into this week. So we've got um, Giles Langdon out for Smith and Timoth, uh, not Timothy, what was his name? Tom McDonald out for Bailey Rice. The rest of the team will stay the same. Um, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to vice Captain Heaney. They play Friday night and Heaney's in some good form. They're playing Carlton. I'm going to vice Captain Heaney. Um, if he has a crack of a game, I'll loophole him with Gorn. And uh, um, who who might get the captaincy gig? You know, yeah, the D's are playing. The D's are playing the doggies. Yeah, I'll leave Gorn as captain. Um, I am going to put. Holman onto the ground for Phillips. The I think Holman's Gold Coast. Oh, they're playing Geelong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I'll leave Holman on the on the pine. I mean on the on the ground. Right. So yeah, there me changes the two trades and then Holman onto the ground. Heaney vice captain, Gorn captain. If Heaney has a cracker, I'll loophole him. Now that I know what the ma fucking loophole is. Um, but yeah, righto, that's, that's it for this round and coming into week 11, uh, projected score 2148, wouldn't mind that, would also like a bit higher, but yeah, that's it lads, I'll see you next week. Still checking in the place, still